What is up guys? This is Luke Hill for Kit Guru. And while 2020 has been a bizarre year in every sense of the word bizarre, it's been a very strong year for processors. We've had budget, enthusiast, ludicrous options across the board, and it's been a particularly strong year with fierce competition from AMD. So in this one, we're going to be looking at our top five AMD processors of 2020. If you're interested in the Intel side of things, Leo's going to be checking that out. So make sure you watch out for that video. Like we said, 2020 has been a weird year, but AMD has done a good job at continuing the success and the strength with the rising lineup of processors. Stock issues aside, of course. And on the stock issue point, we know it is still an ongoing problem that people just can't get their hands on processors, ourselves included, but we're going to try and ignore the stock issues for this one, and we're just going to look at the outright top five favorite processors that we've seen for 2020 from AMD. So let's get on into it. But before we jump into the top five processors, if you like what we do here at Kickeru, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, do all our YouTube stuff. It helps really support the channel and grow the channel. And check out the written website with the kickeru.net page because that really does help us out. It supports us a lot. And you can support us even more on Patreon or through our merch store with a cool t-shirt like this. Let's get back into it. Starting off with number five, we have the AMD Ryzen 3 3300X. Launching back in May of this year, which seems like an absolute lifetime ago, this budget Zen 2 quad-core proved to be a strong contender for budget-conscious and wallet-friendly buyers. Four cores and eight threads with fast clock speeds proved to be a successful mix, and it was the first instance where we saw a single CCX Zen 2 design delivering really strong gaming performance, and that was actually a sign of things to come with Zen 3 and its different CCX architecture compared to Zen 2. Priced around £115 in the UK, the Ryzen 3 3300X really did punch well above its weight in compute tasks, but also in particular when it came to gaming scenarios. It proved to be a great option for budget gamers who want a CPU that offers good performance but does not steal money from their GPU allocated budget, and that was an important position in the market for the Ryzen 3 chip. For that £115 price tag, the Ryzen 3 3300X gave you good out-of-the-box frequencies, solid overclocking options, perhaps 4.4 GHz plus, at least in our testing, and you also got the included Wraith cooler that actually proved to be a pretty competent unit, especially for a small quad-core part. Couple the chip with a budget-friendly sub-100-pound B450 motherboard, 16 gigs of decent DDR4 memory, and then you have the foundation for a really solid gaming platform that's no slouch even in heavy and demanding AAA titles. Unfortunately, throughout 2020, it seems like lack of availability has been a consistent drag on the success of the Ryzen 3 3300X in the market, but that doesn't prevent it from securing a position at number five in our top five favorite processors for AMD for 2020. Next up, we have the first of the Zen 3 offerings in our list. Coming in at position number 4 is the Ryzen 9 5900X. Priced at around about £500 in the UK market, this 12-core, 24-thread Zen 3 processor proved to be completely dominant at its price point and proved to be a significant generational leap versus the 12-core Zen 2 predecessors. It was that performance leap versus the previous generation Zen 2 processors that really had us impressed, especially when factoring in the price increase of roughly £50, which at this market segment we think was tolerable for AMD to decide upon. Equally impressive was the way in which this roughly £500 Zen 3 12 core absolutely dismantled the 10 core Core i9 10900K processor from Intel, which actually still retails at roughly a similar or slightly higher price point. It basically beat it in gaming productivity, power efficiency in a variety of scenarios. Some of the key factors at force for the impressive display from the 5900X were the improvements brought about by the Zen 3 architecture, but also the really enhanced and impressive clock speeds, even out of the box. The refined TSMC 7 nanometer process node coupled with the Zen 3 architectural designs combined to give us impressive clock speed numbers that actually saw our overclocking results hitting 4.7 GHz on all 12 cores with complete stability and tolerable thermals. A very impressive result that we wouldn't really have thought was possible even as recently as Zen 2 on the XT processors. Realistically, there were no real major downsides to the Ryzen 9 5900X at its £500 price point. I guess the only thorn in the side was the Core i9-10850K from Intel, which was quite a bit cheaper but proved to be a competitive contender. Other than that, 
the Ryzen 9 5900X proves itself as a commendable go-to option for users who like to play games but also have some demanding tasks and want their system to last quite a few upgrade cycles before thinking about replacing that chip. Cast your mind back to February of this year, just before 2020 started to, well, become 2020 as we know it, and there was the new kid on the block from AMD that came about to steal Intel's lunch money. Of course, that performance monster is the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3990X, which occupies position number three in our top five list for 2020 AMD processors. Priced at a shared under 4,000 US dollars, this 64 core monster really was a knockout blow to Intel's high-end desktop and even workstation class processors that simply could not compete. AMD's intentions with the 3990X were clear, the fastest and most ludicrous CPU on the market bar none and they delivered and they delivered with great success in my opinion. Impressively the 64 core chip actually proved very diverse in our own testing. Previous generation headaches for the AMD Threadripper processors had been all but eliminated with the 3990X and that is testament to AMD Zen 2 chiplet and central IO die design. Equally impressive was the TSMC 7 nanometer process node which allowed reasonable operating clocks for all 128 threads on the 3990X. That was even the case with the out of the box 280 watt power rating which for 64 cores is actually pretty modest. Of course slapping on a gargantuan CPU cooler as we did and opening up the throttle allowed Precision Boost Overdrive to deliver some truly impressive overclocking results and that was alongside our own manual overclocking numbers. When you put it into context that's an absolutely crazy result and the outcome was crazy too because we saw the chip pull in around about 600 watts through its package and when you look at the wall system draw we were talking 900 watts for CPU only loading. That's absolutely bananas as far as I'm concerned. Thankfully though the performance increases from this were sizable, the task was enjoyable but also the increase to my electricity bill was certainly sizable albeit justifiably so. With the 3990X, AMD offered up a completely new level of workstation processor performance to 3D rendering artists or high performance simulation engineers to users with really demanding tasks making real money from their work. And that truly has been one of the most game changing moments of AMD's Ryzen journey thus far in my opinion. Even if it does serve a niche market, we continue to be very impressed by the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3990X. We actually love the chip and we still really have to give AMD credit for having the guts to pull it off. Good job. Position number two in our list goes to AMD's new Zen 3 flagship, that is the Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core processor. The performance offered by the chip is impressive in a wide variety of workloads, yet the caveats of having 16 cores and 32 threads are basically non-existent. You don't see any real downsides other than to your credit card. But even on the credit card point, at around about £750 in the UK, given the level of performance you're getting and the amount of work that you can actually push through this processor, if you're making money from it, we think AMD was pretty fair there and it still looks like a really compelling option. So put simply, the Ryzen 9 5950X, other than being really expensive and hard to afford for many people, it basically has no downsides and no clear flaws. You get the fastest mainstream processor on the market with 32 compute threads that are as fast in gaming as they are in rendering or compute tasks. Coupled with the easy to handle thermals and the excellent power efficiency, as well as the affordable motherboards that this chip can drop into, and you really do have a winning solution. Obviously, the Ryzen 9 5950X is not a processor for everybody, simply by virtue of not everybody needing a 16 core processor of this expense. But if your day-to-day -day work does involve doing tasks that need this level of performance and you don't want to justify the price increase to go to Threadripper or other high-end desktop options, the 5950X really does blur the lines between high-end mainstream and high-end desktop offerings. It is that good. We'd argue that AMD has done such a good job with the 5950X that actually it's quite difficult to justify some of the lower end but more expensive Threadripper options. Overall, just an absolutely fantastic processor plenty of performance in compute and gaming tasks, reasonable motherboard options, even if you want a cheap motherboard and a cheap partnering cooler or cheap memory, for example, you can do all that because you have the flexibility of a really high-end processor on a cost-effective mainstream AM4 platform. Now for our favorite all-round processor of 2020, 
and this is perhaps an obvious one, it's the Ryzen 5 5600X. Like I just alluded to, this is almost an obvious choice because it's just a very well balanced processor coming in at a wallet friendly price point. Now yes, the price increase to £280 versus some of the Zen 2 Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 chips is a bit tough to swallow, but in our opinion, as we said in the review, we think that the increased performance offered by the Zen 3 Ryzen 5 5600X is absolutely justifiable of the price point. We should at this point give honourable mention to the Ryzen 5 3600 and Ryzen 7 3700X, which granted they launched in 2019, but they're still worthy options in 2020 and going forward 2021's market. But the Ryzen 5s in particular for Zen 2 are becoming increasingly difficult to find at fair price points. Plus, the Ryzen 5 5600X offers such a sizable performance boost versus its predecessors that we think it's worth paying extra for the fundamentally better processor. 6 cores and 12 threads with the Ryzen 5 SKU has long been a recipe for success with AMD's processors and the 5600X just continues that trend. Proving often just as good as its higher priced big brothers in gaming tasks and often having the ability to hang with even 8 core Zen 2 Ryzen chips when it comes to a variety of productivity workloads, the 5600X is the epitome of balance when it comes to processors in 2020 in our opinion. The versatile Zen 3 part has excellent power efficiency, easy to handle thermals, and it even comes with a bundled CPU cooler, so you really do have a strong, ready-to-go package that is a drop-in upgrade for older users. The 5600X is equally as home in a high-end gaming system as it is a general productivity rig, or a budget home server, or an under-the-TV HTPC, or even a work-from-home going forward office system, it really does have absolutely fantastic versatility at a reasonable price point. We were very impressed by the clock speeds, seeing 4.5 GHz or so out of the box on all cores and a healthy boost frequency of 4.65 GHz was positive. Precision Boost Overdrive delivered well and it was very easy to use even for novice users. And then the manual overclocking really was excellent with 4.8 GHz on all cores in our testing being easy to handle from a thermal perspective. So like with the Ryzen 9 5950X, there really are no clear downsides to the Ryzen 5 5600X. It's just a very well balanced, excellent processor that performs superbly in gaming and still has the grunt to handle productivity tasks when you need to do them. This is a reasonably priced, well designed, efficient processor that has plenty of performance to offer a solution that anybody can be happy with. So there we have our list of top 5 AMD processors for 2020. Like we said in the intro, it's been a particularly strong year for AMD on the processor front and we hope to see continued strength from both Intel and AMD going through 2021. Let us know what you think of our list in the comments section down below. What are your top 5 processors of 2020? Have you been able to bag any of these processors or have they still been out of stock everywhere? It wouldn't be 2020 without somebody slipping in a snarky comment about stock issues, would it? I just want to take this opportunity to say thanks again for all your support throughout 2020. It's been really enjoyable delivering this content for you and we hope that you've enjoyed the feedback that we've given you through the AMD processors and motherboards and Intel CPUs and everything else that we review here at Kikuru through 2020 and hopefully we can continue to impress you through 2021. And as always, if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, bell icon, all that YouTube stuff. Check out the written piece on the Kikuru website because that really helps us out. You can support us on Patreon, you can buy a cool t-shirt like this from our merch store, and you can keep in touch with us through a variety of other avenues. We hope you enjoy the rest of 2020 and have a smooth ride into 2021.